Okay, the Tuesday, July 19th meeting of the Santa Barbara City Council's Finance Committee will now come to order. We'll open with public comment if there is any. Seeing none, we will move on to the first and last agenda item. Good afternoon, Chair Francisco and committee members. I'm Jill Tara, Treasury Manager, and I'm here with your quarterly investment report for the quarter ended June 30th. Uh, attachment two of the agenda packet includes also the fiscal agent reports that we report on every quarter, which consists primarily of unexpended bond funds held by third party trustees as well as the police and fire service pension funds. So with that, I'll start um, with an overview of the economic highlights over the quarter. Financial markets exhibited uh, volatility this quarter in the wake of uh, sluggish economic growth. Um, all three major indexes, the Dow Jones, the uh, NASDAQ, and the S&P 500 were roughly flat. Um, uh, the Dow Jones posting the largest gain at 1.2% growth uh, over last quarter. Um, the Federal Open Market Committee of the Federal Reserve Bank at its June quarter meeting um, acknowledged that economic growth has been slower ex than expected, and they cited reasons such as um, food and oil prices, which have dampened consumer spending, as well as uh, supply constraints from the natural disasters in Japan, as well as a weak jobs market. And the national unemployment rate was uh, largely unchanged at 9.2%. Accordingly, uh, the committee held the Fed funds rate flat at the historic low range of zero to a quarter percent and reiterated that that would continue for some time. And at the end of June, we saw the end of the Fed's quantitative easing stimulus program designed to spur economic growth by keeping uh, interest rates low. Uh, under the program, they bought $600 billion in treasuries over the last few months and uh, wrapped up that program. Interestingly enough, we didn't see that reflected in treasury yields at the end of the quarter. In fact, yields were down slightly, um, primarily because of fears of a de uh, Greek debt default. So and that would have global implications. At this point, we're turned to uh, the portfolio activity over the quarter. Uh, during the quarter, we had $16 million in securities called before their final maturity date by issuers and $4 million in maturities um, uh, of uh, non-callable uh, securities for a total of $20 million. That $20 million was reinvested along with $4 million of our LAFE balance. Um, and primarily callable securities being AAA-rated federal agency securities. We also, during the quarter, or actually on June 30th, uh, the airport made its semi-annual promissory note payment of uh, roughly $82,000. Turning to portfolio interest and yield, the interest earned on the portfolio during the quarter, consisting primarily of semi-annual bond payments, was $768,000. $911 for a total of just over $3.2 million for interest earned during fiscal year 2011. And every month, based on the interest earned, we allocate those interest earnings to the different city funds based on their average cash balance. So that's how it comes into the portfolio, and then we allocate it out into the um, different city funds to be spent. Uh, the portfolio yield ended the quarter at 1.773%, which was 15 basis points lower than uh, the March close, or March uh, closing yield, and that's reflective of the higher yielding securities rolling out of the portfolio and our ability um, only to repurchase securities at a lower interest rate. I prepared a, a new investment yields table for you to look at. I think it'll be a little easier to see on the overhead. Uh, the blue lines, or the blue bars, represent the city's portfolio. And you can see over the last three years, we took a snapshot at June 30th of each year. And you can see in June of 2008, the city's portfolio was yielding 4.39%. That has steadily declined over time down to this most recent quarter end of 1.773, as I just mentioned you'll see the differential between the yield on the city's portfolio has maintained um, uh, quite, a, quite a large differential over the other benchmarks that we use. And we measure our portfolio performance to the LAFE rate, which is the State of California Pooled Money Market Investment Fund that we send uh, funds up or pull down daily based on our operational needs and also invest out in longer-term securities. In, a, in more typical times, uh, the city's portfolio yield hovers within a 1% range above or below LAFE. 
Um, but since the recession started in 2008, we've just consistently outpour outperformed late. The yellow bar corresponds to the two-year Treasury note. Uh, we usually um, outperform the two-year Treasury, but we do include that uh, um, as one of our benchmark measures because it roughly corresponds to our target average days to maturity to capture uh, the best investment based on the safety, liquidity, and yield objectives in the uh, city's portfolio. And the last measure is the 90-day T-bill, which would be a LAPE alternative. And you can see that three years ago, the T-bill yield was 1.87. And at June 30th, 2011, 0.01%. So that's practically nothing <laughs> to have someone hold your money. It doesn't even show up on the chart. But I thought this was a nice way to look at the differential uh, between our benchmarks and show it a little more clearly for uh, the benefit of the public at home. We'll wrap up with a snapshot of the investment portfolio at June 30th and show the holdings. The composition consisted of $48 million held up at the State of California LAPE money market pool. Um, we had a $2 million certificate of deposit held at Montecito Bank and Trust. Federal agency issues uh, were just under $114 million, and that's well diversified between the four major uh, AAA-rated uh, federal agency issuers being Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, uh, Federal Home Loan Bank, as well as the Farm Federal Farm Credit Bureau. Our corporate um, notes, less than five years. Uh, we have a few of those in the portfolio, and incidentally, we're looking at um, getting back into the corporate market as things have stabilized more uh, in the private sector. But our holdings at June 30th, we're just under $6 million, and there's also just uh, under $6 million outstanding on the airport promissory note, which was originally authorized by council at $7.3 million. At the end of June, in our bank account at Santa Barbara Bank of Trust, we had $3.1 million uh, sitting in the account to cover outstanding uh, checks uh, that have been written for a total of cash and investments at the end of June of $179,076,373. With that, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Sure. <laughs> um, uh, Mr. Samario just mentioned um, that the state of California LAFE account, uh, we used to have two accounts. We reported them consolidated on the um, monthly and quarterly investment reports as one value, but we did have two accounts with the um, transfer of the RDA, uh, all the assets, property, and um, contracts outstanding to the city on June 28th. We combined those accounts, so there's no longer an RDA portion in that $48 million. It consists entirely of uh, city um, late funds. Okay, thank you. Uh, questions from committee members? Mrs. Self. Thank you, Chair Francisco. Um, can you email me later a breakout of what each department received? Oh, sure, for, for interest for the year. Right, and just to comment, it looks like we should do more inner city lending. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, a, a special 20-year uh, note uh, that council authorized at 7% um, because it was roughly corresponded to the rates at the time uh, if they would have issued, it, or if the city, the airport would have issued the notes in the private bond market because it was a private purpose bond for the um, quick turnaround rental facility for the benefit of the private car rental companies. So it did correspond, and although it was a little higher <laughs> than, a, than going out, but it's certainly been a good investment. And as you know, under state law and our investment policy, ordinarily we're limited to five years a five-year term on our investments unless council takes special action. And so it did take a special action of council to go out for this 20-year note, which has 18 years left on it now. Thank you. Mr. But White? that's certainly helping okay. our portfolio <laughs> yield. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, I don't think there are any more questions. Thank you very much, Mrs. Tarr. Thank you. Meeting adjourned.